Holy cow. Timing. That was crazy. This is going to be the worst part about changing seats. Why? Because of... Vastly different head sizes. Uh. Vastly different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. What happened as soon as you won that game? Honestly, like... That's why you play StarCraft. Like, you get that adrenaline rush, and you're just, like, super satisfied. Like, all your hard work paying off. Like, this is – I don't even – like, I told myself, like, I don't even want to feel this good because <laughs> I, I haven't – like, it's awesome, like, I beat you Thermal, right? But this yeah. isn't even – like, I haven't placed in the money. I'm not even in the main bracket yet. Like – no, nah, you, yeah, you take it. You take it. Like I'm sorry, I'm this is actually what we said as the game ended. It's just like, you know, maybe he doesn't win any money, but you beat you thermal, so you basically <laughs> won the tournament anyways. <laughs> like that was an imp impressive stuff too. Like yeah. I mean, did you Thank did you do like a fist pump or like there are people behind uh, you that started like, like clapping just, in your back and stuff? I took off my headphones and I just like from my face <laughs> like I was just I was <laughs> the going different crazy. reactions. Yeah, I was just like yeah. That's I was like, holy sick. cow! Like I literally, like I shook my head. I was like, Wait, I was shook. I couldn't you, believe it. Like in the game, though, like when you, like when did you think that you were gonna, that you were kind of winning, or I, you just like, are you I'm, always like, I'm never gonna win this? When I forced the lift up on the third, and ah. like he took, he had like one series where like he was microing like two medevacs on the high ground of Abyssal, like behind the third. Yeah, yeah, behind yeah. The third. Yeah. And I had Bailings purposely go on his natural ramp, and that was where all his Marines were. Yeah. And he wasn't paying attention to it, so like. Oh, I know exactly. What that you're was about. that was the feeling. I was like, I can't screw this up. Like, I gotta just keep yeah. going with this. Keep going with this. Nice. And he's just gonna be on the back foot the whole time. Cause I pretty much put him like he he wants to be like in his comfort zone, like dropping everywhere. Of you know. Like if I put him on the back foot the whole game, like I told myself like I'm gonna be a little aggressive here, like with that link flood even in the beginning of the game. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm just gonna throw him off. I don't want to get him off his comfort zone. Cause nice. If we play on even grounds, he's the favorite for sure. Like. I mean, yeah. it's true. Yeah, he's definitely the favorite. Yeah. But, like, I, just, I can't forget, though, that that game, that only started off with a Ling Flood, but it also started, like, in the mid-game, right, with his 2 one one you took a lot of damage. Like, you actually yeah. had a little bit of trouble defending against Honestly, those. I thought that was, like, semi-all in with the Cyclone, and I was like, holy crap, really? he has a third. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, he had a third. Like, I knew, I knew he would have a third behind it, but it was landed with SCVs mining in it. And I was uh, like, You were like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting because he actually shocked. lifted it off without turning an orbital. So when I, when I, when I went, we went back, I was like, wait a second. Like, maybe that was more committed than I gave it credit for. So we actually weren't in that bad of yeah. position. So. I mean, he, like... Honestly, like the, the, my thought process was like, I'm just not gonna drone like super hard. I'm just gonna try and apply pressure because I still had like 66 drones. You know, like ZBT, you want to get to like 74, yeah. or 70. Yeah, you just I, like, I even made note of that in the cast. Yeah. And then just like flood, right? But I'm like, he just lost a crap load of units. If I start making some now and go heavy bailing and he doesn't micro like perfectly, yeah, that third is open. It was, it was I can, perfect. I can try and, yeah. And actually, we we wanted like, to talk to you about that specifically. Like, it's funny we we're making jokes about your name, Game Time. I don't know why yeah. you chose that name, <laughs> but per, like you've actually shown in this series and the one versus Am Canning to us, anyways. I don't know about the viewers too. That your timings are actually very well. Like very rarely, I think you know, cast usually avoid the word timings because they're so misused and all that. But yeah. like you were hitting when it was perfect to hit basically like yeah, that yeah. was a lot of your wins it wasn't just like the superior macro or micro like it was just like the right time to do it do you feel that De confidence or is it just or oh, is it luck definitely like you i do? feel like like even on the plane right here i was writing down like my responses to what i scout nice. like i wanted like to be perfect with like when i see this i'm gonna do this and i had like obviously variations of what i want to wow. do but like like first time canning specifically right like if I first like Archon drop, I wanted to go like I wanted to hit a timing because he texts super fast off because right. I was watching his vods and stuff. So if you text super fast off for it and you hit a timing and you nice. do it crisp with good control, like I kind of have that same mindset like in almost every matchup. But like obviously some games you just gotta you gotta keep macroing yeah, and course, play yeah. on a straight straight like yeah. even ground. That's actually really interesting. Then so you're really appreciative that they did this format. Then you had to research your opponents oh, beforehand. Definitely. Like yeah. you think you the get the same results if that wasn't the case. I think yeah. I mean I was pretty. I practiced like a ton, a ton, a ton leading up to this event. Like. I told him this is my first premier event, so I'm like, I'm gonna really try and like, yes. I'm gonna see what I can do with this because I, I go to school and like I don't have a job, so I literally just do like SCT was like my <laughs> side job. <laughs> nice. So like I like that shows like I put a crap load of time in this SCT, right? So yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to like, make it like worth like all the time I'm putting into it, make it like worthwhile. Yeah. I don't care about the money, obviously. We're not in it for the money, but like just Who like is the it? saddest. Starcraft. Like, yeah, I know. It's just like the fun like a hobby where you're making money off of it that's like the best thing ever. of course yeah, yeah exactly no so. that's super awesome obviously the hard work all paid off man oh, like yeah, this yeah. was like cloud nine here so you're gonna advance on to the next stage i mean do you do you know anything about that like do you know what's happening do you need to chill for an hour or whatever or? yeah i mean i think i'm just gonna keep playing like grind a couple just games grind. like customs and like yeah and then just get ready because i know this this is like just the start like this it is, is i plan on getting out second like that was like my my thought process mm -hmm. going into this group and I was like, okay, obviously I'm gonna have a better seed now because I'm first, so I'm not gonna be versing like, I'm because the groups are oh gonna yeah be two yeah. first and two twos. So I'm like, 
I'm pretty happy like, about getting first, obviously. And you thermal won't even be in my group in the next stage. And like my ZVT is my worst matchup right now. So like, really? That's yeah. Wow. Like, What's your best matchup? ZVP, hundred percent. Like, okay. I, I think like I All just right. understand that matchup like the most for sure. I think. So. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, um, I think that's that's about it. Like, I just actually like there's actually so much more I could talk about the game with you, and I don't know like how much time we're supposed to be buying here. So maybe I should just continue <laughs> talking and just waste all your time. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I mean I got time too. We got. What time is it right now? Like um, two thirty. It is three, three o'clock. Actually. Oh, three. Yeah, we got an hour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. actually, the, the three o'clock. So the main stage is probably getting set up around now. It should be at least. Like yeah. that's when I heard that it was supposed to. So yeah. I don't know about that. But no, the um, <clears throat> I guess uh, chat's been talking too. I just haven't seen it. No. So like okay, a, what's your Twitter again? Someone wants to follow uh, you, of course. After that. Thank you. Yeah, game time sc two. So game time sc two. Yeah. There you go. So you you uh, I mean obviously everyone three thousand plus people are watching that. That's so that's awesome. that's pretty sick, yeah. right? Awesome. Um, pretty good count to have, you know, that, that type of performance. Yeah, yeah. But then also, I know that you do a lot to, with Fear Dragon's work, right? Like yeah, you're in a lot well, of the breaking outs and whatnot. So. I actually wasn't even playing during when, like, breaking out was, like, a thing. So, like, oh. I, I, played, I started playing in, like, 2014 in HOTS, right? Oh, okay. So, like, I was kind of, like, an up-and-comer, up-and-comer. Like, I think, like, towards, like, the end of last year, I was kind of, like, okay, I'm, like, getting up there in, like, the top of the NA scene, right? Uh-huh. And then, like, I got Challenger, and then now I'm... Hopefully, like I gotta keep this. Yeah, you gotta keep grind it grind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's like totally possible too. Yeah. Oh yeah! I finally got one. Thanks, Boris. <laughs> it's Boris over there. Right. Probably just don't walk by. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Rifkin didn't say anything about the time, so I guess I'll just keep talking. So, <laughs> so you right. actually haven't been playing that long? Well, like, I mean, that long is I like started, two thousand fourteen. I used to play like team games with like my brothers and like my cousins back like in Wings of Liberty, like. But I never like understood the game well. I didn't even like know like uh, yeah. about esports. Like I just okay, yeah. That's when I, when I found out about esports and like TeamLiquid.net. Like once you find that out, you watch like streams. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. It's I like a snowball like, effect. I was like, damn, this is pretty sick. Like these yeah. guys are making money off video games. Like this is like what they love to do. And like, that was when? That was like September, like 2014, is when like I decided wow. to start like giving it a go. All right, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so okay, that, that, I mean, that's I would say that's pretty new as someone who. I pretty much had the same thing happen, but like in mid late 2010. Yeah. So I mean, for me, I guess it's a little bit old, but it has technically been like two and a half years. Damn, time flies. But no, that's yeah. that's super quick. I mean, as as far as like when I talk to a lot of other pro gamers, right? Which I guess I don't know if you pro is such a weird word to say, yeah. but I guess you're a pro gamer now, so just deal with it. Um, like semi pro kind of. <laughs> yeah, I guess sure. if you're full time, you're considered a pro. Like I don't it, know. It, it, like professional. Like it, you know, we're not like like trying to get to the Olympics here, right? Like no one actually cares <laughs> yeah, yeah. what the, the terminology means, but. Right, right. Um, is that? Uh, but anyways, as a, as a pro gamer, you hear like a lot of different stories. Honestly, like you hear yeah. some people say like I was bronze in 2010 and I only started getting the masters in 2015. Or like when you're like a pro now, like how the hell that happened? Yeah, yeah, right. And then you hear people they're like I made masters in a week, yeah, and like yeah. four weeks later I was like in this like challenger league or something. It's funny like the players that do the, like do that well early on are only like like the cheesers. Like it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like I started off that way. I literally got masters in like two months, but I didn't even like know how to play oh, the game. Oh, nice. I was just like cheesing every game. You know, like you know, you're masters. So. I mean, I'm not gonna. I was actually referencing Scarlet with that one. No I don't way. know if you know that story. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, no, that's funny. That's what she likes to like, say that happens. But um, yeah. but she's also kind of cheesy, so it kind of fits. Yeah. Uh, anyways, she's insanely good macro. Yeah, though. I know, right? Like it's like it's not she's only a cheeser, yeah. right? She's literally <laughs> known for like her mechanics with the creep and everything. Yeah, so she's she's awesome. I like as someone who is a macro player from like m like the bones in my body, man. Like I just can't be a good cheeser for the life of yeah. me. That's but why I, that's why I love timings like in general. You do? Like, yeah. I think like that's like the best way to go because it's not like all in, it's like semi all in. So it's like yeah. that's like you, you have a good economy and like you uh -huh. can just macro behind it if you like trade or do well and like with pressure or something yeah i feel like a lot of protosses were doing that like in heart of the swarm in general like you can call like the <laughs> no it's true like okay. like <laughs> and i kind of mean. like life life too like yes like, life, i got a reference yeah. him I he's like the reason <laughs> i started playing sadly but that was all like, that's going on but. oh fuck she's here i thought she i thought she had left <laughs> no, oh, shit <laughs> i didn't say anything about you um yeah. anyways uh actually that, oh you said the pro like oh my god protoss yeah. is 2014 it, I, I really respect Protoss, and I even respected them in 2014. Like, that's yeah. that's not what I'm saying. But sometimes, Heart of the Swarm, Protoss games, they're kind of... Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they were <laughs> like, an all-in, like, like, like but... Like the four-gate pressure? Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. <laughs> like, they were an all-in, but you had to call it a pressure because yeah, they could, yeah. like, do enough to... Eh, whatever. Anyways. Kind of um, like that concept, though, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, like, I, I get your point, though. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand it. But I know, like, that's, like... Uh, but it's like two different like kind of fields of thought actually yeah. i think um, that's what life was insanely good at like he would times? Yeah, yeah like timings, timings and yeah. stuff like he would like get like his, a slight lead and he'd be like all right turn out like, his feelings is actually super good i mean yeah. <laughs> game sense for sure if we're gonna go like real i guess like the the, the similarities between life and savior 
like apparently were very close more than just the obvious you know matches yeah, yeah. things that happened um, but like everyone had kind of the same exact thoughts and opinions about Savior that they had life and it's just like their 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 feeling of the game was so good and that's because they played yeah. like a shit ton of, of yeah, games yeah. but it's also just that's like, like a huge part of Starcraft too like if you have good game sense oh my god like, yeah for sure that's such a thing, yeah. good thing to have like it's so it's like not even like seen too like you just like you're like reacting perfectly like in like inside your own head it's like I'm gonna do yeah. this because he does that like just yep. like or, like, I feel like he can do it. It's X, a hard y, thing to teach is a thing, you know? Like, if you could teach it, then everyone could eventually get there. Right, but it's, right. it's something that is very, very innate. Yeah. You have to have a really good understanding of the game in order to, like... Yeah, exactly. Actually, I guess just bringing that up, why not? Like, do you play other races uh, off-race at all? Not really, honestly. I really just focus on, like, playing Zerg. I play okay. Protoss. Protoss is kind of fun to play, so, like, I play that here and there, but... Why is it okay? So I have noticed the trend, man. Paradise, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that that aside, no, it's it's, it's mostly a trend that Zerg players off races Paradox. Yeah, yeah. I rarely talk to Zerg players, and I'm like, "How's your Terran?" They're like, "I don't play Terran." I don't play. I'm not oh like shit! How long has this been up here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have actually timed That's, out eventually. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'm not like totally being BM here. Do you so. want me to go get Rifkin? So um, yeah, you know, guess? we might have to. So I guess yeah. just okay. This will be the official end now. So okay. you can say whatever <laughs> you want to yeah. the stream. So uh, yeah. Follow me on Twitter. It's at GameTimeSC2. Shout out to my team, Sloth Esports, and hopefully I can keep this grind up, you know? Yeah, good luck. Thank that was you. an awesome result, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah no, thank, thank you. you so much for coming on, man. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. Let me go find him now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, M. Candy just invited me. Euthermal is ready to go, and we're just getting the other casters in here, so it ended up being pretty perfect timing. I'm in control now. Thank you to Solar424 for the resub. Oh, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. 22 months. That took a long time. Yeah, I think that was, that was really awesome to come on, do a really good interview. Obviously, great player, having great results. Pretty perfect, pretty perfect scenario. Sorry about that. I got caught up with an old friend. We actually, I ran into Zeph over there. Oh, okay. So cool. she should totally come cast with us later if she gets uh, bored or wants some spare time or whatevs. Oh, Jesse's in chat. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, man? So many famous people in chat. What are we ever going to do? I know. I don't know how to handle this. Oh, my gosh. We've got like 300 viewers right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Actually, this could sound less sarcastic and more douchebaggy, so I'm not going to go down that <laughs> road. <laughs> but, okay, so we're in the lobby for Belshire. It's M. Canny versus U Thermal coming up first. Or right, last, I guess, in the group. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Skinky, for the sub. I L U. We L U right back. Man, I was finally nice to a player, and everyone accuses me. I want to sleep with them. This is what happens when you're nice, <laughs> Riff Kid. What did this you? Is why you're not what nice? What did you say in the interview, Zombie? <laughs> 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 yeah. What's longer, your win streak or your penis? <laughs> it's just like, wow, Zombie Grub. <laughs> no wonder people got the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> That just that doesn't even you know you know you, that's not even how I would do it. Come on now. Oh, so you planned this out? <laughs> no, what you do when you're gonna know is you just tell them to stop. You know, whenever. See, I've never understood that that, like, that thing, and then you like start faking out, like, like I'm really believing this. How could this possibly be? No human being could possibly. What? See, everyone laughs initially and puts them in a comfortable mood, so that when you get real, they'll give you a real answer. Okay. Okay. So we got Nate. Nate, Nate. Tell, tell me when to stop, Just okay? <laughs> See, if you say it like that, it kind of sounds like Are this is what, what? He, this is what really? he wants. No. Or this is what he has. What? <laughs> <laughs> my two favorite, my two favorite people. What's up, buddy? Aw, I'm included. Hello, people on the internet. Who are you guys casting next? Uh, you thermal and I'm canning. Finals of the group. <laughs> nice. Figure out, uh, I, I gotta say, like, I, I gotta see you thermal, right? The, like, do yeah, we but we Terrans said that for some game time. We need Terrans in this game, teams, game time said ZVT was his worst. I'm just surprised because Euthermal, I feel, is really good at ZVT. I thought so, too. I like him canning. I love him canning. I mean, I, I thought so. Like, it's not a fact anymore. Like, Euthermal is still good. <laughs> if he, he just needs to be careful, because we all know M canning brings that special spice. To be honest, ZVT. I imagine him dying at least once to a couple of really good disruptor shots. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it from, like... I can see it. I forgot actually who we saw M Canning face. It was a pretty good Terran. Gumiho or something. It was like a Korean yeah, Terran too, actually. Beaten, yeah. yeah. So, 
I'm just saying, it's totally possible. Right. Yeah, there was that tournament. He was the only one to take a single game off Gumiho. Ah, Seed yeah, and yeah, everyone yeah. else died, like, oh, two. Like, <laughs> see, exactly. So maybe something weird happens. Have fun, guys. You too, have buddy. I'll see you up on the main stage later, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always good to have a Nate drop by, hang out. A Nate, a wild Nate appears. A wild Nate appears, yeah. I love, <laughs> I love a lot of Nate's new emotes. I made ours in just like a jiffy, so we'd have them, right? So we could just like have. You the made new them into a up. jiffy, or jiff form. <laughs> ah, Tilt them on so many levels. <laughs> oh, that's like the same face you make when you have like alcohol. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I have the same adverse reaction. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, basically, as soon as they're good to go, we're good to go, guys. So we might be waiting a few minutes. Might, might, too, might, be, a, uh, might be a few minutes, might be a long <laughs> time. It just says Euthermal needs a few minutes, so uh, whenever he's good to go, I guess. Everyone's just yeah. kind of piling into the lobby. I guess that's probably so the only one yeah, going on or left at this point. Uh, a lot of people doing community casting for this. That Team Liquid list is huge. Looks like someone finally fixed this for us. So thank you, whoever Yay. the anonymous person that Team Liquid is, taking care of the stream. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I don't know what to, I guess, do you want to, uh, I feel guilty doing commercial break. <laughs> you could shout out the person that just subbed to us. We could. Who was it, Zombie? Yep. Oh, that's right. We can't see it anymore. Way to go. Unless we go we to here. We could Twitch alerts and just, you know. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to shout out this guy? <laughs> it's Jing Tessie. It's not like he gave us, you know, phone Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, mine broke. It feels bad. But. Things Jesse. Jesse, what's up, man? If you guys missed it, we actually played some 3v3s with Jesse. It's yeah. up on a YouTube. Uh, seven months. I wish I could be there with you guys this weekend. Have fun and cheer on Neeb for me. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. I uh, talked to him last night. Or yesterday, actually, not last night. <clears throat> but yesterday. And um, I had my master plan, you know. I was going to figure out. No, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Quit trying to sleep with all the players. You're ruining the integrity of Base Trade TV. Oh my god. Fun he's fact, guys, for every person I ban, Zombie sleeps with. He's such a baby. <laughs> all right. Made me feel weird. Yeah, Neve is actually very. Uh, I was going to talk adorable. about how I ruined his chances by like getting him drunk, but no. He just went in an even worse way. Well, if you get him drunk, dear I guess god, make it easier. Dear God. Dear right. God. Game is kicking off. Let's get some last Terrible. second shout outs before we get into it. Bliff, thank you for the eight month resub. <laughs> His resub is just the arrows of like the measure. <laughs> uh, Zydox79 for 10 months. Glad to have you back. I don't know if we got Solar424 earlier, but 22 months is a long time. Big yeah. respect. Hamel Camel said it's time for Partoof, baby, at 12 months. Turtle Punch, 10 months. And I think, I think we're caught up. What's chat saying about us? Wow, that monster smells really strong. <laughs> you took like a drink of that and that like whoosh, right in my face. Yeah, right. It's, it sounds great. All right, folks, it's the first game in a brand new best of three. We got Jer hitting us up with the Twitch Prime stuff to kick off the game. This is the last match of the group. The winner of this best of three will move on to the next group stage. The loser, sadly, is just dead. But in the bottom right, it is none other. Lunam Canning! Did you make a reap sound because you're the reaper and he's gonna die? I get it. I got you. In the top left is the blue Terran. He is you thermal. Okay, and just so you guys know, we have been given not English keyboards. Oh, and no lights either. <laughs> well, I guess for the main stage, right? Uh, not English Ooh, keyboards, so I can't, tw I can't twist the camera, which is really annoying. We also can't do at sign stuff. Oh, oh what did you press? What are you doing right now? It's uh, these keys. Why is your <laughs> arm so warm? <laughs> Ugh. Don't reach over me, please. <laughs> Delete? It's okay. so weird because I'm always cold. Okay. We can... <clears throat> Wait, what's the other one? Insert. Okay, cool. Yeah. that's. What, I mean, that's what I use. It's so funny. Well, normally I use these two. I know. That's why <laughs> I was, that was funny. Okay, well, anyways, if you want to know what you're mixing into your monster, <laughs> I know with her behavior... Your behavior today has been appalling. I'm gonna write you up to you the boss. You have not been much better. I, you wait till I tell the boss about this. Oh my god, no, I'm the boss lady. The base street TV boss. <laughs> I'm the boss lady. It says so on my jacket. Okay, fair enough. Uh, by the way, you thermal. I don't know how badly he's feeling after that last game. Honestly, I mean, I think a loss is a loss, and that kind of sucks. But uh, funny enough, I bumped him briefly in the bathroom, and he didn't seem to be 
bothered. I, th I think he just realized it was well, a bad series. How many emotions can he show in the bathroom? Well, maybe he went in there to cry in the stall. You don't know. <laughs> maybe he went to poop. You heard someone crying and you just yell out, you thermal. Is that you? <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? No, I, I don't know. Like He's not a guy who seems to take losses too hard. But I did make that joke earlier, and I'll go back to it. But like, it, if he gets tilted, you can actually see that in his play. Like, he'll start doing really unconventional things because he's like, "Screw it, normal doesn't work." <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're gonna see him open a series like that. Like, you throw him right now playing safe. He's looking for proxies. But there is one thing to note, and and that is specifically M. Canning's play style. Yeah. While this guy is good enough, I think to actually pull off, hell, we'll even say like Colossus builds or otherwise, he chooses to go for disruptors more often than not. And if you throw a scout's a robo can kind of blindly guess what it's going to be and from that point forward a player like him this might just be easy yeah it's it's a it, kind of a double it's double edged sword though <clears throat> i mean for both players and that you know you know what m cannon is going to do so you're not a surprise it's not the surprise factor that's going to do you win against disruptors but you also kind of still underestimate you know disruptors because they're not used that often and the reason they're not used is because they're usually not as effective. So, like, they're, they're really a double-edged sword for both players here. Reaper barely survives. It's just annoying. It really. It does beat out an overcharge, though, funny enough. Yeah, like, if you're going to overcharge, you really should kill it. So the fact that it's still alive isn't going to, like, and cause... regening. ...momentous amounts of damage, but it's just it's super annoying. Ah, uh, combat drugs is cool. Can you imagine real drugs work like that? You just, like, inject yourself with a needle and suddenly you just start healing. You're, like, better in 10 seconds. Yeah. If only. It's in fact worked like that. This, this is actually doing a bit of damage. Yeah, it got a probe. <laughs> it's still not been caught. It's it's good. It's healing once again, so it's not easy to deal with it. You thermal has just been getting consistent scouting. So I'm canning like throwing down these gateways, throwing oh, down oh. a robo. What? Ah, what did that land over here? Well, that's probably the question I'm canning's asking right now too. He lost a lot of probes. He did. Nine probes down is bad, especially when you go in the direction for robo. A big part of this so it was honestly, I think, in part that Reaper. Like, not only were we watching it, but I guarantee you, M. Canning was too. He was constantly chasing it around. So, those Hellions maybe don't I, get in so easily otherwise. Yeah, I'm gonna take back what I said about their Reaper. <clears throat> Usually, it is just an annoyance, you know? Like, they get one more, more and more probe, and they, they force you to micro a little bit more, and maybe you mess up. But they're, this really led to those Hellions not being seen for so long. We were distracted by the freaking Reaper. So. Yeah, actually, how many kills? 12 kills to two Hellions. That's yeah. not bad. And they lived? Well, I guess one of the Reapers, the 11th of the Hellions. Yeah, but the point is, is that that's really bad early game damage. And there, there really is not a return damage either. This is not like an Oracle that's going to swoop in because you Thermal didn't go for a Wood of Mine initially. That would have already happened. And that yeah. might have gotten damage because of the way that he opened. But now it's it's far too late. There's nothing else going on here. There's Blink, for God's sakes, which actually Blink does have some timings that can be very brutal against Terran players. But considering the way this game has gone, I doubt this is going to be one of those situations. No, and I think a big part of that is if you want to go that direction, for example, with Blink, Stalkers are expensive. You lost a lot of probes early on. There's no fast third base. I feel like right now, especially with Legacy of the Void and the way it's gone, you expect a third just as fast as a Zerg player out of Protoss. Mm -hmm. And the fact that M. Canning's not able to afford one, combined with the fact he doesn't have a lot going for him, Widowmine pops off over here, so the probes are pulled at least, but yeah. still messy nonetheless. Uh, I was going to say, where are there more Widowmines? <laughs> yeah, and like <laughs> magic are. explosions as we pan over. Another seven probes die. M. Canning. 21 workers down at the start of this game to what has been the most basic harass out of you thermal. Now, I'm not gonna say like you thermal like, oh, he's a Terran player, nice balance, get those kills, but it is something where I feel this was more on M canning and it's like, what, what do you wanna call it, like his attention span? Like he just wasn't looking at the right places at the right time. No, no, I wasn't. I mean, there was a lot of look over here, I'm gonna attack over there, and it, it actually extra sucks basically because M canning wasn't really spreading himself too thin either. Like this wasn't like a really greedy build, it was, it wasn't really tech heavy for the damage that he took while, like, when he was teching. Now it is. Like, it's two base uh, robotics bay disruptor with with a forge and a twilight council. After all, so now it's pretty twilight council or tech heavy. But it wasn't anything too greedy. It just was seriously looking in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I, mean, I can see that too. That it's not luck because we saw him. He pulled the probes in the main. He knows what to do. He clearly yeah. knew how to handle it. Just yeah, you know, wasn't looking. Now this is where the game gets tough. Tanks are on the way. Tanks. They create the same dynamic Lurkers used to in the ZVP matchup against Disruptors. They take two shots, they're not easy to deal with, and of course they can fire from very far away. So, your Thermal might, if this was just Bio, maybe run into a Disruptor shot with Marines, and maybe clump up too much and take a bad hit, and suddenly the game's over. But those tanks take priority, and he doesn't get to just aim at the Marines anymore. This is not a very big army. No, it's, it's four Stalkers <laughs> and a Disruptor. 
This disruptor would, would really have to get quite a good hit. That's that's barely enough stalkers to threaten the Metavax too. So the Metavax would always just pick up whatever's in danger of, of being killed. Oh boy. Not much hope here. M Cannon, even if he holds, doesn't have a third base. He'd have to really just it would have to be like another game time game <laughs> where he, he actually kills so much army supply. He just dives for it. He thermal picks off the mothership course. She had like three more overcharges in her too that buys a lot of extra damage done. Now the disruptor comes down, as we see the tanks actually do get dealt with, but then there's nothing else behind it. Yeah, there's a lot more reinforcements on the way. New Thermal already has his third base on location, about done. Uh, this oh. is not going to get a shot. He barely doesn't get the disruptor. Oh, that's a good point. So another one does live. And this is not a very, you know, good looking army. It's very small now for New Thermal, but this is where the reinforcements are about to come in. And I think I'm canning, maybe not tap out of that time, but once his disruptors both die, he might. I just realized how unintuitive it is to tell what the health number is on the disruptor when you select it like this. Is it three? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's three. No. Uh, oh, no, the disruptor's going to pop out. He's got three of them now. He might, oh, I was, gonna, I was worried he's going to kill his own adepts. Uh, he does split. Nice splits out of you, Thermal. Finally gets the disruptor down, the one he got so low. Another one falls. The Marauders, you know, these were missing from the equation before. It was only Marines. Now that bonus damage versus armor comes into play. Anything, stalkers, disruptors, pylons, they're all gonna go down so fast. GG. You thermal takes a very excellent game number one. That snowball effect on the Reaper though. I just, uh, mm. That lighting effect on the camera though. <laughs> we don't have any lights on like anywhere. I prefer this. You can see less of my features. The stage find. behind us is lit up on these. By the way, come here. We gotta show I gotta show this guy. I have never had anyone, you keep coming to you on camera, never had anyone resub in real life before. Whoa. He waited to specifically show me his phone and do the like resub announcement. That's pretty awesome. Fancy. That's pretty cool. But uh, okay, so we're going to be waiting for that next game. Lobby should be going up here in just a moment. We do look fine. We look more fine than before, I swear. You can see less details. It's like its own Photoshop effect. I'm not sure that's how that works. It is how that works. Okay. Photoshop takes away the details. I mean, that's, you know. I just realized that's not in-game. That's behind us, isn't it, on the mainstream? No. It is in-game. The explosion sounds? Oh, the explosion sounds, no. He's been hearing things that they are real. He's not been hearing things. I had a moment <laughs> with my roommate about this this morning because I heard a phone off the hook, and she's like, you're crazy. And then as I'm leaving the hotel, the people next door had knocked their phone off the hook. And I'm like, I knew I heard something. Whoa. Not crazy. He kept on hearing the Kirby sound in the background because the Smash people were testing. And I, I I mean, I heard it, but not, I didn't pay attention to it. And he, was just, he thought it was so tilting. We were here for three hours listening to the Kirby sound. I I was pretty tilted, I I'm was, not going to lie. I, you know, it's a very pleasant sound. <laughs> All right. Uh, who was that just hit us up? Uh, Amazon? Amazon Nix? For the 14 months, says, do you still love me even though I resub online? Resubbing online is pretty lame. Resubbing in real life is the new cool. I'm sorry. You're out. <laughs> Wesley Hill also hit us over six months. Dr. Scotty 255. 14 months is we professional now, boys. Boys. All right. We're getting into game number two. Uh, let me swap the names around. In the bottom left, what buttons did we press before? These two just spin around and look fantastic. He's on his last life. Cheer for him hard, ladies and gentlemen, it's M. Kenning. In the top right is the blue Terran. It is Euthermal. All right, Euthermal, definitely favored. I think after that first game as well, control was good, timings were good, and you had bad luck happening for M. Kenning. Look at the wrong place at the wrong time, take the wrong reactions. I, I, I know, I know. We talked about this actually with Nate, but for those who missed it, like we've seen M. Canning beat Terran in like uh, not typical situations. We had a whole Korean, I think it was the Alima League, it was a whole bracket where literally every Korean Protoss that played Gumiho lost 0-2. M. Kenny was the only one to take a game off of him the whole entire yep. tournament. Like, so I know he's got PVT in him. There's no question about it. In his soul. In his soul. But uh, it can still be tough to pull off. Also, yo, who's that? That's our main man, Beastie Freaking Cutie. Thank you very much for that 10-month uh, resub. <laughs> Says uh, go go number two Dutch Terran. Why Shots did I being do fired. That? that didn't make any sense. Were you trying to get chat up on your on your phone? Yeah, I was getting there. Let's say this chat only mode. 
I was getting there. Okay, and and she's there. Duh! <coughs> With my cool tang back thingy. Tang back thingy. That's what it's called. Just like the sh thing it's on the end of your shoelace is a shoelace thingy. It's a shoelace thingy. I would love if you actually made and marketed something like that. This <laughs> is like the blank thingy. <laughs> Maybe I will one day. And I'll make millions. Like that measuring thingy. <laughs> a ruler? <laughs> a tape measure? What are you talking about? Actually, you know how they have those those compass charting tools? It's like you, you spin the thing. Jesse is so actually concerned that I'm getting this wrong. It's a pop socket, pop Zombie Grub. Socket! It's a pop socket thingy, Zombie Grub. Pop them suckers. Pop them suckers. More fun than a pillow fight. <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> All right. Well, factory on Zue. I don't know if M Candy will get so badly hurt by Widow Mines again, but I think the likelihood of uh, the the Hellion damage is, is <coughs> much less. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that, that Reaper doesn't usually snowball like that, so it's funny that I'm saying like it's, it's supposed to be a mild annoyance, but it really did a lot more. It doesn't it doesn't usually do it, especially on Proxima. Or it should just be... Not, it should actually maybe be skipped, right, from a lot of builds. Uh, so there's going to be a regular Widow Mine drop. Now, M Canning, because this actually goes back to what we were talking about earlier, just because he's known so well, you can actually guess, unlike almost every other Protoss in the world, that he might not go for a Stargate opener. And a lot of Terrans are just like default not doing their Widow Mine drops because they expect him to, to die to a, a Stargate opener. Yeah, Phoenix and the Oracle but and all that annoyance. If they go for a Robo, I think that there's still, there's still power there. Obviously, there's still detection. But you don't lose the meta background as opposed to, and you can actually sell micro a lot with a uh, marine. Ah, uh, guys, I need you to stop spamming for a sec. We muted. Is this okay? I muted to plug and unplug the mics. I don't know what you guys are talking about just happened. But, uh, I guess because there's the delay. Type 1 in chat if you can hear me. 2 of it's still terrible. No, it's still terrible. Just my mic to see if this is better. I don't I don't know where the problem is for you guys. So I've muted and unmuted and now it's just my mic. No not hers. Hers is unplugged entirely. I don't know if this one's still broken or not. It's a shame that this is happening, but uh Okay, I've unmuted us. Is this working now or is this still static? I'm so sorry if it's bad, guys. But we have no idea what's causing this. We don't hear the static in our ears. This sounds perfectly the exact same as it has all day for us. 
Why are they spamming one? I didn't say to give I, a number. I don't know what the I, fuck one means. They're just spamming one. I feel like one is good. Okay, then I'm thinking we're good. We'll leave it like this and hope it doesn't break again. And my God, <coughs> sincerest apologies, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing is, when we do have control of this, at least we can fix it on the fly instead of being left like completely in the dark. But, all right. Uh, we haven't really missed much. There's been a little bit of just like hosing around the base. Like, you throw my hands well. full surround. But there's one big thing that's happening very differently this game, and M. Canning's going for Colossus, not yeah. Disruptors. Okay, well, <clears throat> that is his prerogative, but it is, it's a big issue that he can't get his third base. Because while he is going for Colossus, and that is a, like a later third base than if you went for, you know, Adept Phoenix with fast third, obviously, um, fast being key there, it is getting too, like, it's getting too late <laughs> to not have a third base. Um, so this is worrying, and for you, Thermal, I think at any point he could not make it, like, he could make a mistake and just be here for too long. But it doesn't look like M. Canning's really getting the necessary tools to deal with this. I mean, he didn't get a Twilight Council for so long. He's going to blink Stalkers. He's going to try and bust it with just the regular Stalkers coming down the ramp. Ah, the Liberators, though, aren't being focused on fast enough. The Stalkers are getting trucked. He will take a decent fight, but this is where you Thermal just... This didn't matter whether he won or lost this fight, because he had a third base and M. Canning didn't. So this traded out decently. Like, look at the resources lost, right? Like, kind of even. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Ethermal's Thermal's going back to the main with a Widow Mine drop, and he's been mining off a third this whole time. Right, yeah. I mean, that was before Stim was done. It was before the upgrades were done as M. Kenning finished his. So that was a good time for M. Kenning to try and break it. But, okay, Ooh. this isn't going to do anything. Gets caught in the overcharge. Just in a bad way. Gets shut down. Now, M. Kenning, the thing is, he did break the contain. He is getting his own third. So he's not out of the game yet. Euthermal doesn't actually have a follow-up drop. He doesn't have follow-up ways of putting that pressure on and hurting M. Kenning any further. So as we see, he's just, he's bunkered up at home, literally, he's defended. Now he's got that production rolling and he's got a lot of Marauders coming out. This is kind of cool to see because I'm hoping to see some more like, I almost want to say like Maru-esque things where like you just drop on top of the Colossus or do whatever. Things you couldn't normally do when you're worried about disruptor shots. Yeah, that would be cool to see. <laughs> Not usually the way that people do it nowadays. I mean, Ethermal continuing to invest in the tanks, even getting a second factory has been something that he has done in the past. So. Not too weird for him, but still a very unique way to play against Prodosses as the game goes on longer and longer. Usually you do transfer out into Wood of Mines, or the very least into double starport production if you don't get anything from the factor anymore. The tanks is kind of weird. But it is going to be up against that choke ideally again. Uh, this time I'm getting third choke, that is, <clears throat> before I get to a fourth base. And the job's going into the natural. Double drop, natural, cannon's not quite done, only three adepts. They're pretty well upgraded, but there's not that many of them. This is the overcharge is just barely not in range. That's really got a sting for him, Canning. So he's forced to give up the assimilators. And that sucks because the gas income is actually really important to the Colossus that he's trying to go for. Plus, all that tech he had just invested in. It's like it's like buying a house and then getting fired the next day. Rip. <laughs> Luckily, right now he is banking a bit, so just gonna plant those down again as soon as possible. But the drop was in the main base. He's actually getting a little bit baited out in the front here. Nope, don't do that. Upgrades. Look, they're gonna finish. Although they were very close to that drop. That Stalker's getting warped in aren't going to be able to deal with that too effectively. No, because there are Marauders here, of course, but the pilot gets picked off. Bit of a wasted overcharge. In front of the base, Disruptor Shot comes out. It's a decent hit on some of the bio. But this drop in the main is still going quite strong. It is. It really sucks, too, because like Gending has better upgraded units, just with not ever quite enough of them to help deal with that. Another simulator going down. It's a lot more gas lost. Picks up to go over to the third base, slash natural, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, there's really not a lot of adepts. They're not even really scaring the uh, the tanks here. An adept, or disruptor shot does get one of the tanks, but you know, Euthermal's already rallying forward. A war prism could maybe do wonders here as Euthermal gets uh, like too aggressive and too confident, oh, but there's just cool. nothing going on for Amkane. I like that he pulled that one medevac away, by the way, just in case he wasn't looking, he didn't want to lose both. But <laughs> GG's, good luck, even GG. Ladies and gentlemen, Euthermal takes the 2-0 and makes it out of the group. Okay. But I don't know if people can hear this behind us. There's like some pretty uh, intense music playing now. We got the main stage starting to get set up. The, I think the main show starts soonish. I'm pretty sure it just started already, so I'm just gonna keep on saying soonish. Got Nurcio just sauntering on by. A lot of the round of 16 players, or the 16 seated players rather, getting here a bit late because there's no real reason for them to be here there's earlier. Really not. But uh, sad to see him can't go down. Because you know, this guy was all smiles and confidence when I talked to him earlier. It was actually a good time getting to meet him I, the first time in person. So 
Very sad to see him go, but hopefully he'll enjoy the rest of DreamHack because there's so much to do here. Like, even if you're not just StarCraft fan, yeah, booths so, on booths um, on booths. It's a kind of a convention as well, so there's some merchandise booths with a lot of sponsor booths, there's like VR stuff going around. There's a board game table too, mm -hmm. if you really want to nerd out. Well, I'm not sure what's on our timeline now. We may just be forced to take like the 22 minute break and then we rejoin for when the main uh, main stage starts casting as well. Because we will Maybe. We will continue to cast some of the B games, guys. And I think we're back for a little bit tomorrow as well, even. So a bit of casting here and there. But for now, what we'll do is we'll go to a small break. We'll figure out what's coming on. We'll come back, let you guys know what's going on. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.